Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Star Trail Tarot and I'm here with another pick a pile and we're going to be doing their late night desires so this is a person on your mind but we're going to look at the tarot and see who this might be to give you some clues uh, we've got three piles, so we've got the blue cat, the yellow cat, pile two and pile three the pink cat okay so pick your pile, so while you're choosing I just want to say a big thank you Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for your subscribes, your likes, your shares, your comments. Um, there's still a competition over on my other channel, so Magic Inspiration, till the end of August. So if you subscribe, like over there, um, you can win a free reading. Comment the word soul, and that's until the end of August. And then the competition will go come over here. Um, check out my other channel, as I said, so Magic Inspirations for uh, twin flame soulmate readings moon readings spiritual readings love messages check out my patreon page on offer at the moment six dollars a month for mid-tier where you get exclusive readings over there and if you join before the first of september you can have a free reading as a thank you okay so we're going to start with pile one so i have pre-shuffled the oracles as I say, we're going to end with the oracle. So, pile one, you chose the blue cat. So, let's have a look, see if we can see who this person might be that has late night desires for you. Who is the person having late night desires for pile one? Who is having late night desires for pile one? So we've got Knight of Swords energy, so that's Air Sign energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The Hermit can be Virgo energy. Four of Swords. And the Tower. So this could be an unexpected person maybe, somebody you're not expecting. This is somebody that you're not speaking to with that Four of Swords. I feel this is somebody... And the hermit, somebody that's withdrawn from you. This could be somebody you're in separation from or somebody you broke up with, maybe. Got the Ace of Swords. Seven of Wands. Queen of Cups. Four of Pentacles. So I feel this person wants to come forward with the truth here, with the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. I feel this is, you know, wanting to communicate their truth. And, you know, they they spent some time alone with that Hermit energy because they felt guarded with that Seven of Wands. They're protecting themselves, maybe worried about falling in love again. And the Four of Swords again is that retreat energy, spending time alone. And we've got the Queen of Cups. So I feel that they are in touch with their feelings. I feel they're aware of what their feelings are. And the tower, they're in, you know, feeling their feelings. And the tower is where the four of pentacles, they were not in an energy of give and take. So this could have ended suddenly between you. Maybe one or both of you walked away. Let's go a bit deeper. So we've got the judgment energy, so that can be talking about a resurrection, you know, the traditional tarot shows, you know, the horn, the angel's horn waking the dead. So somebody's had a change of heart, maybe, um, realise the connection, yeah, we've got Ace of Wands wanting a brand new beginning, a passionate new beginning, still feeling passion. Page of Pentacles, yeah, an offer coming forward, and we've got the rainbow there. Wanting a fresh start here with you. Yeah, because we've got four of cups. So they, they feel that um, missed opportunity with you. They realise they missed an opportunity here. Yeah, and they want to take that leap of faith with you. We've got the full energy. Wow. So they want to take a leap of faith with this connection with you. If you give them the chance. So let's look at the other energies. So we've got first kiss, so memorable, you taste so sweet. So they're remembering the, the first time they kissed you. Yeah, they were guarded. We said said that with the Seven of Wands. They had a guarded heart. 
They were protecting themselves after a past breakup. They weren't ready at that time to open their heart. But I feel with that Queen of Cups, they are open to love again. And we've got passionate moments together. You know, you may have shared some and they're remembering that or they want those with you. And they think you're very sexy the way you walk. You've got a wiggle when you walk. Um, you know, they like the way you walk. It's something sexy about it. And maybe they like the way you talk dirty to them or they're imagining that. And they see you as somebody very talented. Maybe you're musical or artistic. And they love how full of passion you are. Um, how full of life and love. And you were so loving to them. But they withdrew, I feel, from you. Because they had a guarded heart. I want to kiss and hold you close. Tell you how I feel. Yeah, so they really want to come forward and express themselves. I want to romance you. Fight, wine and dine you. And buy you, buy you flowers, treat you right. Yeah, they want to make up to you. They want to make amends here. Yeah, we got away for the weekend. So they'd like to take you away for the weekend. Just you and them, if you give them the chance to treat you, to wine and dine you. As I said, they really want to treat you right. And we've got full, full moon lo loving. So the moon energy could really help them get in touch with their feelings. We've just had that really powerful full moon. So they could really have been going within. We had that hermit, we had the four of swords. And they think you're a perfect balance between you both of the masculine and feminine. Um, you know, you're both, you know, this could be for couples that are man and woman. And they think you're a perfect match there. And they see you as a temptation, a tease. You entice them, you know, the way you look, the way you dress, they like that. And the smell of you, I want to hold you tight. So the scent of your hair, your skin, your perfume, they're really missing that with you. Yeah, they want to be a loving couple with you, be tender and thoughtful with you, show, show you that side of them. They may not have showed you that side of them. And they feel very passionate, very aroused. And they desire and want you. They want to be with you again, okay? And they want to play, do role play, dress up fun with you. You know, explore different things with you and make love to you all night long to express themselves through their body. And also they want to tell you how they're feeling. And I love that you are quirky. You are different from the rest, inside and out. I love that you challenge me to be my best. So... You know, they they love the fact that maybe you wouldn't put up with their BS if they were messing you about and they weren't being, you know, committed to this connection and that you challenge them to be the best version of themselves. And they've been doing that work on themselves and they want to come forward and express that. Don't stop, don't stop what you're doing to me. I'm burning up, burning up, can't you see? So there's a lot of fiery passion and desire, but there is love here with that Queen of Cups. Okay, so somebody wants to come forward and express this to you. So there's your messages, part one. Sending your love and blessing. Hello, part two. You chose the yellow cat. So this is their late night desires. So this could be somebody that you know, somebody you're in separation from, somebody you haven't dated yet, somebody that's maybe got their eye on you. So we're going to check with the tarot to see who this might be to give you a clue. So can you tell Paul to who this person might be that has late night desires? Who is the person that has late night desires for Paul to? Who is the person that has late night desires for Paul to? Who is the person that has late night desires for Paul to? Who is the person that has late night desires for Paul to? So we've got Nine of Pentacles, so it looks like they're definitely single, that Nine of Pentacles. Four of Swords, so somebody that's retreated, spending time alone, maybe doing some healing work right now. We've got the Hangman. So yeah, there's, there's not a lot of action happening. We've got the Ace of Swords. There's not a lot of action happening with this person, but they want to be truthful. I feel they, you know, after they've got out that hangman energy, they want to come forward with the truth, okay, to share their truth with you. Wow, we've got Knight of Pentacles. So it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, 
or somebody in that energy. They could be younger than you. Um, somebody that's, you know, determined. They're slow. Um, and we saw that with the Four of Swords and the Hangman. They're not rushing forward like the other nights. This is a slow night. That takes his time because he's making a solid decision. And when he comes forward with an offer, it's a solid offer. He's not going to change his mind. This is somebody that's thought long and hard about that. Yeah, and we've got judgment again here. So this is like resurrection of the dead. So it could be somebody you was with, okay, and you've separated from them. Yeah, we've got six of pentacles. So balanced energy coming in, okay, wanting to balance out these energies. Um, maybe there's somebody, you know, that needed healing. We've got the Four of Swords there. Maybe they were a bit out of balance. Yeah, Temperance, again, is talking about balance and also talking about divine timing, okay? Waiting for the right time because we saw the hangman energy there. And it does look like this person does want to come forward, but it, it may be slow, slow movement. What else can you tell us? Yeah, we've got the death card. So this person has definitely been through a trans transformation. And you can see all the butterflies there. This is somebody that's gone through maybe the dark night of the soul. Okay, we saw the four of swords. There's some healing. Okay, they're transforming themselves. They're coming out of um, whatever energy they were in. Okay, doing that work on themselves. In that stagnant energy. What else? Yeah, we've got Queen of Cups. So, again, could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I feel it's more about this person is now in touch with their feelings. It's that loving, nurturing energy with the Queen of Cups. What else can you tell us? What else can you tell us? We've got the tower. So could be unexpected, you know, it's unexpected change. It doesn't have to be a bad thing um, with regard to this connection. Something unexpected. Yeah, we've got four of cups. I mean, there was disappointment. There was a missed opportunity here. Somebody's realising, you know, the value of what they had with you. And we've got the sun here. They're wanting to bring out the sun, to bring back the joy, the happiness. Anything else? Yeah, we've got the Hermit. So again, it's very similar to part one. Spending time alone to get that enlightenment, to see what it is they truly want, to get that clarity, as I said. Anything else? And we've got the World card. So there is a new cycle, a new era beginning in your life. Um, another go around with this person maybe okay it feels like they definitely do want to come forward so let's look at the other energies so we've got positive thinking and faith to attract and romance so they're they're changing their mindset they're becoming more positive they're having faith in themselves in this connection the truth is out we love each other this is a real thing baby so yeah we we had the queen of cups so they're definitely feeling feelings for you have feelings for you of love and they want to be get into a relationship with you. We've got we are officially a couple, they want to get into a relationship with you. And they miss your cuddles. They think you give really great cuddles. And how you take care of yourself. Maybe you watch what you eat and you exercise. The way you lick your lips could be a nervous habit they've noticed and your sensuality. And maybe you used to dress up for them in sexy lingerie and they miss that. I adore you, I desire you. So yeah, they're really missing you I know the timing is so off but I do love you I always did I should have told you but I was in denial so yeah they did have feelings for you but they didn't tell you that at the time you are such a kind loving person and I miss you so much and I fantasize about you baby so yeah they really are missing this connection and they are going to take some action about this and they're missing your kisses I want to kiss you again your lips taste like wine and they think this is a never-ending love story. They know it's not over between you. You know, you, they're feeling their feelings and, and they're hoping that you still feel the same about them. And they want to explore tantra with you. 
you know, to really prolong that um, sensation, to follow their impulsive desires with you and to try new things with you, have thrills, excitement. And they liked your openness about sex, your open-mindedness with your sexual expression, your confidence in yourself. And they want to have outdoor sexy fun with you. And they so desire you, you know, we've seen that several times in the cards. They want to express this, their feelings and their wants and needs with you, to be open with you. We saw that with that Ace of Swords. And they, they want to undress you with their eyes, uh, fantasising about that, I feel, and imagining you there with them. And they want to say, I'm not used to being in my feelings, I'm always up in my head, but you're there too and you're driving me crazy, this me and you. So they can't get you out of their mind, basically. So I feel this is going to make the, you know, give them that impetus to come forward. And when I look in your eyes, I see the fire in your soul, deep burning desires that ignites my soul. Take me now, make me whole. So they, they want to come forward, they want to be back with you and express these feelings. So it's very passionate. So I'm going to leave it there, part two. Love and blessings. Hello, part three. You chose the pink cat. So we're going to look at who has late night desires for you. So we're going to start with the tarot to give you a clue as to who this might be. It could be somebody you're with. It could be somebody you're on separation with. It could be somebody you've never dated that's fantasizing about you. So for part three, who has late night desires? For, this, for pile three who has late night desires for pile three who has late night desires for pile three so we've got two of swords energy so somebody closed off it looks like to me and we've got two of cups so this is somebody that you have feelings for and they have feelings for you this is mutual and we've got the death card. Sorry, no, the devil. The devil card. So this there could have been some sort of obsession or codependency around this connection. And we've got the moon energy. So some unclear energies here. So somebody acting closed off but has feelings. There could be obsessive or codependent behaviour. And some hidden aspects with that moon energy. Some dark shadow aspects with you know and obviously we've got the devil there as well so yeah we've got the magician energy three of cups five of cups five of swords well i think this person is trying to manifest you with the magician there Okay, they're trying to manifest this connection. I don't feel you're with this person um, because of the energies. And there could have been a third party because clarifying the two of cups, we've got the three of cups, so there could be another person involved. Um, you may not have known that, okay? There could have been someone else involved. We'll go deeper with that. And the devil, we've got clarifying that, the five of cups, which is sadness, loss. So, it, you know, it feels like it didn't work out between you. Um, possibly because of this third party and maybe somebody's addictions issues and unclear motives, unclear, things were unclear with that moon energy, which is clarified by the five of swords. So defeated energy, you know, I feel it didn't work out. So let's clarify these energies. Where's the two of swords there? So we've got seven of coins energy. So I feel this person did want to work and build something with you, okay? We've got the Empress. They saw you as that Empress. They saw you as their, their Divine Feminine. And with the Two of Cups, they had love for you there. We've got the Lovers. So they did feel this connection. But as I say, there could have been somebody else in the mix. Maybe they weren't properly separated from somebody. Or maybe they, they were just somebody that just wanted to play the field. And we, we have got that devil energy there. And we've got eight of coins. And she's like doing a spell. So there could have been spell work involved here. Maybe somebody put a spell on them. Um, there was some dark magic going on. There was unclear thinking anyway. 
and we got Ace of Wands. So they're ready, I feel, to step up. I mean, they were, I feel a lot of it was passion. They were, they were driven by passion and lust. They could have had a sex addiction, okay, with the Ace of Wands there. And the moon energy is unclear energy. We've got Three of Swords, yeah, heartbreak. You know, breakup, heartbreak. Why is the magician there? We've got Queen of Wands. So this could be you. You could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So they saw you in that energy. Somebody very sexy, very desirable, okay? And, you know, somebody they were drawn to. But why is the Three of Cups there? Yeah, we've got the star energy. So I feel they've had to heal this situation, whatever was going on with them. Um, if they were seeing other people, what's that about? Page of Wands. Yeah, I feel they, they could have been driven by their lust, okay? That, you know, they had feelings for you, but there could have been someone else involved. I, I see that for some of you. And it ended up in disappointment. We've got King of Wands energy there as well. So, again, you know, we've got the King and Queen. So you, you were a match, but this person messed it up. It looks like to me, but that they were getting involved or somebody put a spell on them. I'm not excusing their behaviour. They had some sort of addiction, some sort of obsessive tendencies. And maybe they've healed that and they're coming into that king of uh coming into the king energy. Why is the king of wands there? Seven of Swords. Yeah, there was lies and deceit going on. Yeah, there was lies and deceit going on from this person. Why is the Five of Swords there? Nine of Cups. So you were a wish fulfillment for them, but they messed it up. They messed it up. Can you give me some future energies for this connection? What can you tell Pile 3 for the future energies? We've got Ace of Coins. So that is talking about a brand new beginning, a brand new start. And we've got King of Coins. So this could be this person who's changed and is more stable, more financially secure, and he's not ruled by his lust. Or this is some a new person, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we've got three of wands. So it's all about divine timing. When the timing is right. Okay, when the timing is right. What else can you tell us? So take what resonates. It could be this person returning or it could be somebody brand new. Okay. Yeah, we've got Six of Swords. So, you know, you will be leaving the past behind. You're putting it behind you, the difficult period of time. And we've got a new beginning in love with the Ace of Cups. So there is a brand new beginning in love coming towards you. So it could be with this person who's changed who's done that work or it could be somebody new but what what their thoughts and feelings passionate connection yeah they're wanting a passionate connection with somebody they want that intimacy that mental sexual spiritual emotional and it's going to turn into love you know there is love around there is love here and let's detach from the world just you and me so Wanting to just spend time alone, wanting having the chance to, to really reconnect. And they love your eyes, they think you've got sexy eyes, you're intelligent, you're very sexy, and sexy sense of style. So there was very much lust and passion here in this connection. And I remember the feel of your lips on mine, the taste of you. So they're missing your kisses. I want to feel your body next to mine. They want to hold you close, be physically close with you. I'm so sorry for the things I said. Yeah, that, so things have gone down here. I wonder, have you moved on? Are you in a new relationship? So, you know, this does sound like somebody from the past is wondering if you've moved on. You know, they're, they're, they've done that work on themselves. They've done that healing. And they want to kiss and snog you again. And they have a lot of passion. We saw that as a very passionate connection. And have times with you in the shower, soapy times in the shower. And they think about you all night and all day, basically. And they want to have sensual pleasures with you because they love you. Okay, they love you. They have love here. And they want to kiss your sensual lips. 
and they want to have sensual delights, try new things with you. And that closeness again, that intimacy, being close mentally, emotionally, physically, sexually. So I feel that if this is a person from the past, they've, they've done that healing on their addictions, on the way they were maybe closed off energy towards love. Okay, but if it's somebody new, they are somebody that is open to intimacy and true intimacy and love with abandon, embrace it, let it envelope you. Yeah, they want to just let go and really go with their feelings. I get it, I'm working on my self-esteem, I feel your healing energy, or is this just a dream? So you could have been sending them healing to really help them. As I say, this person is really going through some healing right now. And the feel of your skin on next to mine, it's so damn fine. I want to make you always mine. So they really do want to make amends, the one from the past, if that resonates, and come forward and put things right for you. So I'm going to leave it there. So don't forget to check out my other channel, Soul Magic Inspirations, to um, subscribe, like, and comment the word soul to win a free reading over there. Sending you love and blessings. Take care.